Well, I'm not trying to. So every time I cut them, I put them up there. Try to get quite a few done here so we can get this roof closed in.
guys. Well, for those of you that ain't been tuning in, I have not snapped a line, measured twice. I'm just running it because I don't really care. I don't care if it's off a little bit. And then at the end, we'll go around and check it how good it is or not. <sighs> I thought about doing these boards all tight because they're going to shrink because everything's wet, but I don't know now. I just don't know. And I'm going to have to take that off. I didn't bring a hammer. Let me go grab a hammer really quick. Dang it. Okay, we'll tear this off. save that one for a different spot Oof. Lows. <laughs> Some of this here shit already looks store bought. So we got two of these. So that's what sucks because if I don't cut enough, then we don't cut. I know we could stagger the one down, eh? Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
Sometimes we should never be born at all! <laughs> Doing this whole roof with a handsaw. Box up. Oh, what am I doing? Mama! <laughs> Just throw it in the bucket over there. Anything. Any stuff. Imagine having to do this off the old box saw. This is like a back and forth saw. Yeah, back and forth saw. One of them back and forth saws. Back and forth saw and then you have your hair and nail and everything like the old
We'll cut some more white boards. That way we can just keep on going and be done with it. So if we did two more logs, we'd be done. And then I'm gonna cover this bad boy with uh what the hell synthetic felt and uh should be golden for a while. So let's go cut the rest of this lumber quick. For a ring. Well, we should be able to get some decent boards out of this guy. Anytime you get
quick tan. Now, I could leave the wing on there. As long as I got one good side, I could just flip my boards. So at least I can follow one good side. You know? But, if you look up there, you can see when I use that spacer, they're all pretty decent looking. And then we're going to have a, a felt fabric over that anyway. There's one that's brown and one that's kind of whitish. But, yeah, we only got eight foot left. Not even. And we're done. Then we can felt it and hold him. She's a little out of square as far as this way goes. But these are true. Alright, that's what happens. If you don't put batter boards up, you're going to have an out of square building. Even if you do put batter boards up, you could, if you don't know what the frick you're doing. Yep, yep. That header is El Stretcho. <laughs> Once I get these guys in there, I'll feel better. Because right now it's just them big. And that's what they're made for. They're made for folding like that. But they even got them all in this side? No. No. Uh -huh. I did flip it the wrong way. No, I need two more there and one there. I don't even got them all in there, buddy. Oh, well. We're going to have to do something about that. Oh. I got to get this crap out of here before I can't even see it. So what have I done? I've done 10 logs with that carbide blade. It's an inch and a half carbide blade. And it's still going good, so... We'll see. None of my logs got dirt on them, though, because I fell them. There was still snow on the ground, and I picked them up with the grapple, set them on the trailer. So none of them got dirt on them. Which helps with the blade light. Still trying to dial in how fast to go. That little gas motor ain't that great.
<clears throat> I'm missing out on a one inch board here. So ever since the beginning, this mill has been goofy and I'm now just realizing that I need to raise it up a little bit more and actually not even because here's my issue. I should be able to make one last cut for a one inch board at the bottom but that trailing bar that dips down hits. So I can't do anything under an inch and a quarter. Now the tabs that stick up on the sides are three quarter. So I should be able to do a one inch board. So what happens is I keep getting stuck at the bottom with a goofy board and I could have two more nice boards out of it. So that sucks because right now I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So if I had one more, even it would give me two more actually. But if you, if I had one more, I would have enough to do two, four, six, eight. You know. <sighs> so that sucks. We got our pith right in the middle of that one. So maybe we'll wait. And really, it don't matter because this is just sheathing basically. And then I could have got another one inch out of here too. So I'm losing lumber. So I think what I need to do is just <clears throat> figure out a way to get that stupid thing out of there. Maybe I'll just cut it right off. Let me go see. Let me see what that entails and I'll be back. With you. Well, it's just the guide and the guard for the blade right there. I'd hate to rip that off there, but if it's screwing me out of, you know, valuable lumber, it might have to go regardless. So, safety first. Let's get these on the skid. bad boys up there we'll see how many we need after all right guys here's what we got low class uh whoa. this is called uh low class sheeting straight off the press oh low class out of square sheeting the building <laughs> yeah buddy i just gotta finish this little corner over here we got pretty much everything done except for this little where I started and I missed there in the front and top. Oh, look at this board really is beautiful. I must have cut that with a brand new blade.
I still gotta cut them off, dingbat. Oh, you guys don't help me, dude. You gotta say, hey, dummy. Don't forget to trim that side. Ah. See, because we got the gaps, and if we would have did purlins, we still would have had to felt this to get rid of the dew point with uh, steel. I don't want nothing dripping, so getting rid of the dew point is crucial no matter where you are in the country. <laughs> Unless you're an idiot. How do I shut it off, idiot? All right, guys, I went out and dug the metal out. But I got to put that felt paper down before I start dragging these sheets up here. So let me go get my stuff for that, right, guys. This is very butch hackery in the Sundance Kid. What? Alright, now we're going to do the machine again escaper.
Buildings are a little crooked. <laughs> couldn't be. Couldn't be. Could it? Could it be? Or couldn't it be? I don't know, George. It's gotta be. Oh. See, if I don't want it on machine gun, then I just take it off machine gun. Nope. Right? difficult on this. Now where'd my knife go? You little rat bastard. I was being a dum-dum. I wonder how far we can make it with this now. make it all the way down so that would have been nice no huh. we'll try this stuff we'll try this cheap ass shit out i guess in a long time i don't even know what i had that stuff from i, mean, I don't even know what the last roof i did oh i know what the last roof i did was nagel turf and that This stuff here looks bad. Sorry guys, I'm not getting very good video here. But I think this is some garbage. It says Orn's Corning, Corn's Morning. But that don't mean it's good, you know? And uh, our video situation ain't very well either. Man. Williams 
The trick to this stapler here is anywhere you got a seam, you want to do a dual row of staples. You do not have to use a cap gun with this. I can leave this on here, and I will just to prove a point. And it's windy here by the shores of the Lake Superior shoreline here. But, yeah, I mean, and anytime I can, I like to put my shit on upside down, but these are got one one way and one the other way you know they think they're slick but yeah this guy right here you can waste some staples Hiccups and all. Holy again. So, I don't know how you like the old machine gun stapler there, guys, but I love it. I'd never do it another way. What's it look like from the bottom? Does it look like it's going to leak? I wish they'll put the metal on today, but I don't think it's good enough. Like it's gonna leak. I don't trust this freaking white stuff. Here we go, guys. One roof. Oh, is it gonna last? Here we go, sometimes first time down the ladder or something. <laughs> See, good job, dude. I would rather pull the trigger. Until it goes click, click. Here we go, guys, I'll try to get you. <sighs> Looks like a roof, it was a tree. Now it's a roof. Oh, I don't know about this freaking protection total roof system here don't buy that shit it's garbage this is decent 
you could tell it's sturdy sturdy the nails are blown right through that i only got it set for 120 pounds oh so this is how roofers load their stuff Ugh. like that you know that's how we do it oh i think we're golden i'm gonna wrap this here hose up i can't even tell there's boards missing under my toes and uh i'm gonna do that metal tomorrow because my back ain't with it <laughs> have a good one thanks for watching